This is Let's Talk with Liz and I am Liz. Hi, my YouTubers. Welcome to the Let's Talk with Liz show. Hi, everyone. Today, we're diving into an important question that many people ask. Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that affects so many people, modern dating. The world today offers a lot of advice about dating, relationships, and finding love. But the truth is, much of what's promoted out there is far from what God intended. We're going to expose the lies about modern dating and look at what no one tells you from a biblical Christ-centered perspective. Let's start by acknowledging that God created us for relationships. In Genesis, it says that it's not good for man to be alone, which is why God created Eve as a companion for Adam. But the kind of companionship that God intended was built on mutual respect, love, and above all, faith in Him. Modern dating, however, often shifts away from these principles. Society tells us that we should prioritize our desires, follow our emotions, and focus on what feels good in the moment. This is one of the biggest lies of modern dating. This idea that love is about fulfilling personal needs rather than honoring God and serving the other person. One of the things that no one tells you about modern dating is that when you make it all about self-gratification, you're setting yourself up for heartache. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 13 that love is patient, love is kind, and it does not seek its own way. Yet modern dating encourages people to rush into relationships, to seek temporary satisfaction, and to avoid commitment when it's inconvenient. This goes directly against the kind of love that God calls us to have. Another lie that modern dating promotes is the idea that there's no harm in casual relationships. But as Christians, we are called to a higher standard. God's design for relationships is purposeful. Dating is not just for fun, it's preparation for marriage. Our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit and we are to honor God with them. The world tries to separate physical intimacy from emotional and spiritual intimacy, but in reality, God intended them to be connected. Hebrews 13, 4 says, Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. This is a truth that often gets ignored or dismissed in today's culture, but it's vital for us as Christians to uphold it. And while we're on the topic of marriage, let's talk about how modern dating makes marriage seem like a distant goal or something that only happens when we're ready. But here's the truth. We'll never be perfectly ready. Marriage is not about finding the perfect person or waiting until everything in your life is aligned. It's about committing to someone and walking together with God through both the good and the hard times. The Bible teaches us that marriage is a covenant, not just a contract. It's a reflection of Christ's love for the church, a sacrificial, unconditional love that doesn't give up when things get tough. Another thing that no one tells you is how damaging it can be to date based on worldly standards. The world teaches us to have a checklist of what we want in a partner. And things like physical appearance, financial status, or shared hobbies. But God looks at the heart. In 1 Samuel 16, 7, it says, The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. The most important qualities in a partner should be their love for Christ, their character, and their desire to honor God in the relationship. One of the hardest truths about modern dating is that sometimes we have to wait. The world doesn't like waiting, and it tells us that we need to be in a relationship to be happy. But God's timing is perfect. Psalm 27, 14 says, Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. It's better to be single and in God's will than in a relationship that pulls you away from Him. Trust that He knows what's best for you. And when the time is right, He will bring the right person into your life. There's also this lie in modern dating that says, If you're not dating or in a relationship, there's something wrong with you. But as Christians, our identity is not found in our relationship status. It's found in Christ. You are not incomplete or lacking just because you're single. The Apostle Paul was single. 
and he lived his life fully for the Lord. In 1 Corinthians 7, Paul even talks about the advantages of singleness for serving God. So whether you are single or in a relationship, your focus should always be on growing in your relationship with Christ. Finally, no one tells you that the ultimate goal of dating isn't just to find someone to make you happy. It's to glorify God. Ephesians 5, 31 to 33 says, For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a profound mystery, but I'm talking about Christ and the church. Marriage is designed to be a reflection of Christ's love for his church. It's about serving one another, growing in faith together, and representing the gospel through your relationship. So to wrap things up, Modern dating promotes a lot of lies, lies that are focused on selfishness, temporary satisfaction, and worldly standards. But as Christians, we are called to live differently. We are called to approach relationships with patience, purpose, and most importantly, a heart centered on Christ. If you're navigating the dating world, remember to seek God's guidance first and foremost. Let him be the foundation of your relationships and trust in his perfect timing and plan. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this message helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more faith-centered discussions. And remember, in all things, keep Christ at the center of your life and relationships. God bless.